Welcome back to Low Stress Math with Mrs. Bono. We are in Unit 5, Lesson 3, The Slope Formula. Brand new thing to learn today. So, what I'd like you to do is the warm-up. So pause the video and do the warm-up. Talk to you in a minute. I hope you did that. I hope you actually paused the video and did the warm-up. So, you know me. What do I always do first? Highlight the y-axis. So here on my coordinate grid is the y. Nice and highlighted. And I'm actually going to label it a little bit. So let's do that. Here we go. This is the y. This is the x. And I'm not going to write too much else on there. I'm just going to graph these points and hope for the best. So 0, 3. That is the y-intercept. How did I know that? How did I know that 0, 3 was the y-intercept? I know because y-intercept is the y-coordinate when x equals 0. So every time we graph a point on the y-axis, like 0, 3, remember? Let's take a look at that. Here we go, 0, 3. 0, comma, 3. And I'm always telling you, A is the 0, B is the y-intercept. That's because when x is 0, whatever B is, that's the y-intercept. Okay, so let's graph some more points here. 2, 6. 2 to the right, up. 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 9. 2, 4. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. And, six, oh, I can't do 6, 12. I don't have enough dots. So, hmm, I can't really graph this last one. But I can find the slope from here. So I know the y-intercept is b. Y-intercept b equals 3, this right here. But now, there's two ways to find the slope. I'm going to come over here and do rise over run. Make it nice and big so you can see what I'm talking about. Start with a lower point, count up, one, two, three, and over, one, two. So my rise is three, my run is two. So my slope, and let's squish that back down a little bit, slope, Rise over run, 3 over 2. So I could already do that, or I could actually look at this grid this, and say, wait a second, there was another way to do this. Oh, yeah, the change in y. So to get from 9 to 12, I have to add 3. As a matter of fact, 3, 6, 9, 12. Those all go up by 3. And 2, 4, 6, these all go up by 2. So this is the change in y, and this is the change in x. And slope is also change in y, rise, over change in x, run. So I still get, just from there, rise over run, 3 over 2. So now I can write an equation. I need the y-intercept, and I need the slope, and it's y equals mx plus b. So y equals, what's m? m is 3 over 2, or 3 over 2. It, it's jumping out at me all over the place here. Don't lose that x. Plus b is 3. Where did I put my pink pen? Ah, there it is. B is 3. So there's my equation. What's the slope of the linear function? It's 3 over 2. It's 3 over 2. That was the question. Oh, dear. It didn't ask me. It said plot the points on the grid. It didn't say make a line. It says what is the slope of the linear function? I found the slope. I did too much work. Look at me. Well, here we go. Too much work. But... Hmm, I'm going to label these points because it says put the points on the grid. 
So when it says that and doesn't say to connect the dots, you got to label the points. So that was 2, 6, and this is 4, 9, and I can't do 6, 12 because it just doesn't go up enough. All right, so target. I can determine the slope between two points using the slope formula. There's a slope formula? Hmm. So... What is the delta y? That is the change in y values. Because d is delta, you say that delta, d-e-l-t-a, delta y, delta y. And that's the change in y's values. Delta is um, difference. So delta is actually a Greek letter for D, and D stands for difference. So delta Y is the difference in Ys. I'm gonna write that down too. Difference in Ys. And delta X is the change in X values. And that's pronounced delta, delta, come on Bono, X. And that is the difference in X values. It's the difference in X's. So you put it all together, you get the delta Y over delta x, the difference in y over the difference in x. Remember, the difference in y is the rise. To go from one to another is the rise. And the difference in x is the run, and that's right or left. So delta y over delta x, and put it all together. Now the rise, you could do that a different way. You could do y minus y over x minus x. Ha-ha! Let's take a look at some examples of what I'm talking about. So here's the formula. Mm, let's write that down. Always write the formula first. So, formula first. I'm not even big enough to see. Here we go. So there's my points. This is not bad. I am going to call this first point x and y, and I'm going to call this second point x and y. Now, see how I did them in different colors? That's going to make it a lot easier later on. So the formula is going to be m equals y minus y over x minus x. Oh, you can't see that. Come on, Bono. Y minus y over x minus x. What do you mean by that? I mean y minus y over x minus x. And it doesn't matter which one you put first. A lot of people like to start with the larger numbers because you're subtracting. So that's what I'm going to do. 8 is a lot larger than negative 4. So I'm going to start by doing 8 minus negative 4. So shrink it down a little bit, slide it over, and so it's y over x. So I'm going to do y over x. 8 over 6. That's not a 6, that's a y. Come on, Bono. 8 over 6. y over x. And I'm subtracting y over x. Negative 4 over 3. So I have my x and y first over my x and y. x on the bottom, y on the top. x on the bottom, y on the top. So y minus y over x minus x. Let's see. Keep change, change, don't sing, Bono. 
So I have eight plus four. Remember, because keep change change, which is 12 over six minus three, which is three. Oh, I can reduce that and get just four. Ha ha. So I know my slope is four. Slope M equals four. And a puffy cloud of happiness around that. I'll get back to that in a minute. I just want to show you that it doesn't really matter which one you put first. So let's try the other one first. Let's do negative four over three minus eight over six. And double check it. Y minus Y, Y minus Y over X minus X. Good, I did it. So Y minus Y over X minus X. Negative four minus eight is negative 12 over three minus six is negative three. And look at that. Negative 12 divided by negative three is still four. Bob bam it doesn't matter which order it is. As long as you keep y over x and y over x that go together. So I'd like you to stop the video and try just the next problem. Go ahead. All right, welcome back. Let's do this next problem. So here we go. First, label things. X and Y and X and Y. And now, always write the formula. Always write the formula. Always. M equals Y minus Y over X minus X. A lot of times they'll say Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X. Why? Uh, that's just adding extra stress. So I'm going to do it larger minus smaller. So here I have seven minus two. So I'm gonna put the seven first. Seven over 10, because it's always y over x. Minus two over five. So I'm making sure I have them together y over x, y over x, y over x. I'm doing it in color because it's easier for me. But if, you know, you want to do things in color, that could help. So let's see. 7 minus 2 is 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Ha ha. My slope, m equals 1. Puffy cloud of happiness. All right. I would like you to try the next four problems. Remember, label your X and Y's always. Make sure that you're putting the Y over the X that goes together and just try it. Okay, I'm really hoping you pause the video and are trying these problems because it doesn't help if you don't make, you can't, you're never gonna learn math if you don't do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the next one. As a matter of fact, I like this little red pen. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna label all my first X and Ys with red. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna label my second X and Y in blue. Because I am a very color coordinated person, as you well know. So let's do that. Now, always write the formula. I don't care how many times you have to do it. It's always y minus y over x minus x. And in this case, nine is larger than seven, so I'm gonna put the nine first. Nine over one, ba, ba, bam, minus seven over zero. Be really careful that the y's are on top and the x's are on bottom y over x, y over x. Why? Because it works better that way. Nine minus seven is two, one minus zero is one, and that reduces to two. 
So my slope, m equals two. Puffy cloud of happiness. There we go. The next one, write the formula. This is gonna get to be a very boring formula, but it's important. Y minus Y over X minus X. And 14 is larger than 10, so 14 over negative seven. Y over X, ba, 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 minus minus 10 over eight. 10 over eight. All right, so 14 minus 10 is four. Negative seven, I'm gonna keep change change here. Negative seven plus negative eight is negative 15. Oh, wait, I can't reduce that. Negative four over negative 15. So that's just gonna stay a fraction. M equals negative four over 15. La la la, puffy cloud of happiness. There we go. The next one, let's write the formula. M equals y minus y over x minus x. Look at this. Two is bigger than one. I picked up the wrong color. So two over negative 17. Negative 17, come on, make it. I was gonna put my negative sign way over there. How stupid am I? I, I don't even know some days, Bono. So. 2 over negative 17, 1 over negative 3. And now, 2 minus 1, negative 17 minus negative 3. Keep change, change, change those signs, Bono. There we go. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Negative 17 minus negative 3, negative 17 plus 3. Subtract, you get 14. 17 is larger than 3, negative 14. Again, a fraction. M equals negative 1 over 14. Yeah, it's a weird fraction, but it's okay. Nobody cares. Sometimes you get odd things. It's fine. All right, so this one, negative 10 and negative 4. I'm going to put the red one first this time because negative 4 is bigger than negative 10. And I just want to do it that way. Can I do it that way? Is it even going to matter? You know what? It's not going to matter. So let's do... Oh, I forgot to write the formula. You guys got to remember. M equals Y minus Y over X minus X. So I have negative 10 over negative 4. Sorry, negative 10 minus negative 4, which is... Negative 10 over negative 12, and I am subtracting, and negative 4 over negative 20. And wait a second, these are both keep change changes. Keep, change, change, keep, change, change. Let's see, negative 10 plus 4, 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 is larger and it's negative. Um, negative 12 plus 20, 20 is larger, so it's positive. 20 minus 12 is eight. Okay, so negative six over eight, which I can reduce to negative three fourths. There's my slope, negative three fourths. Mm, negative three fourths. Okay, so that's enough math for today. That was a long video. Okay. You guys have a great day and we will do some more math tomorrow. Take care.